morning all <clears throat> hope you are able to hear me good morning sir yes no yes no able to hear you. thanks for the confirmation so yesterday we saw we discussed about uh, we saw the fico structure and what is the company we are going to work which organization structure we are going to work so we will see this particular uh, detail in detail yesterday we have seen what do you mean by client but again i will give the literature of what is client okay uh what do you mean by an operating concern and before that before that sorry before that in each and every module in each and every module before we start in each and every module what are the things we are going to discuss so each module write it down if possible the complete module fico whatever we are going to discuss in each and every module each module we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about about the following steps okay each and every module we are going to discuss the following the major following whatever may be the module okay first one business process discussion means how the client business process business process discussion this is absolutely theory part what we are doing right now okay next one we are going to discuss about configuration so this is a consulting part configuration so this is nothing but we have a special transaction code called spro i'll say when we will enter into the configuration part next one master data master data this is again end user part okay that is nothing but i'll say it as an sap menu end user end user okay next one we have a transactional data transactional data master data transactional data this is also sap menu only means we are going to do all the testing part nothing but in real time we will do all the testing part in uh, quality system okay master data transactional data and last but not least reports after testing after postings we are going to see different different types of reports that is from sap menu sap menu just write it down this once you are done let me know so first we are going to discuss about business process discussion the complete end to end business process next one configuration the basic configuration and complete configuration basic and as well as advanced configuration next we are going to discuss about master data next one transactional data and reports so these are the things we are going to discuss in each and every module okay if it's done then we will move to so we have discussed about what is client okay put a heading as in client put a heading as in client Put a heading as in client. So we are going to discuss each and every step. What is client? What is operating concern? Controlling area? It should be there in your notes for your reference. So write down client. Client is a client is a separate database set in SAP. Client is a separate database set in SAP. Already we discussed it. This one, right? based on the client based on the client the data will be stored the data will be stored and it will be retrieved the data will be stored and it will be retrieved it we can it will be retrieved full stop we can utilize 
we can utilize any client number any client number from triple zero to triple nine you know what are the clients we are not supposed to use okay client number from triple zero to triple nine example yesterday whatever we discussed client 100 for development we know that any any project we will have a three different servers with the three different clients or any number of clients right but minimum three clients three servers okay so client 100 for development for development this is example the numbers are example again i'm reiterating but the servers are common in real time also next one client 100 development client 200 for quality assurance client 300 for production for production okay client this is about your client so anyone have a what do you mean by an operating concern so whatever organization you are working so normally if you go in depth you can check this your organization structure will be in the same way your if you are working on sap end user part then you can check your uh, organization structure that will be there in this particular manner there will it will have an, one operating concern it will have one controlling area clear but we should we need to have a what do you mean by an operating concern clear what do you mean by controlling area okay so write down for second one operating concern operating concern it's very very important it is a highest organizational unit it is highest organizational unit for both for both fi and co it's not only fi and co for all the models but our module is fi and co that's the reason i have mentioned here fi and co but it is the highest organizational unit for any module in sap clear but why I have mentioned here FI and CO? Because our module is FI and CO module. Okay. Most of the reports we will generate from FI and CO module itself. Okay. Write down. It is the highest organization unit for both FI and CO modules. Based on this, based on this, we can generate we can generate all the profitability reports all the profitability reports for a selected characteristics so this is again very important for a selected characteristics and and specified value fields profitability reports for a selected characteristics and specified value fields full stop what do you mean by selected characteristics it means write down selected characteristics means selected characteristics means if we want to see if we want to see the profitability profitability according to according to customer wise customer wise profitability product wise profitability region wise profitability region-wise profitability, division-wise profitability. Means we have a different, different areas. For example, if I want to see the profitability according to customer-wise, product-wise, region-wise, and division-wise. Okay. Then that is called characteristic, selected character. So whatever, wherever, from wherever we are getting the profitability, wherever we are getting uh, profit, 
So these are the different characteristics. Next one, what do you mean by specified value fields? Write down, specified value, full stop and continue. Specified value fields means, specified value field means sales revenue, sales revenue as per customer wise, product wise, division wise, region wise, etc. What is the difference then? What do you mean by selected characteristics and specified value fields? What is the difference? Both are at customer level, we are calling. Both are at region wise, right? Division wise. Sorry? What is the difference? No, I think uh, selected wise is for profitability and that is for revenue. What, what is the difference? Profitability and revenue. What is the difference? Revenue is gross sales. Exactly. See, for example, that, that's perfect. See here, characteristics in the sense, for example, one particular product I'm producing at 100, I'm producing at 100, and I'm selling into the market. I'm selling into the market at 120. 120, okay? So how much additional I am getting? How much additional amount I am getting? 20. Sorry, 20, right? So this 20 mm. is considered as in profitability. And what is my revenue? 120. 120. Yeah, is my revenue. So revenue includes, your yeah, revenue includes either profit or loss. So the total gross. So for example, this is 100, the cost I have spent for 100 and due to some reason I'm selling it at 80. So even though we don't have a profit in this, but the overall gross, how much we are getting, that is considered as a revenue. That is the difference between your revenue and a profit. What is the difference between a revenue and a profit? Profit includes of excess amount of our cost. Okay. And what do you mean by revenue? The total gross amount, what we receive. So that revenue may inclusive of your profit or it may inclusive of your loss. That could be anything. Right. So if you are talking only specific profitability, right, then that is considered as a selected characteristics. And we are talking overall about gross, overall about gross, then that is considered as a specified value fields. Clear. What is an operating concern? Operating concern is the highest organizational unit in both FI and CO modules. Based on this, what is the need of operating concern? We can generate different reports on profitability reports, right? On profitability reports according to characteristics, selected characteristics, and according to specified value fields. So due to that, any organization will have the operating concern. You can check your organization also. Definitely that will have an operating concern. Okay, write down a note here, very important note. Note, operating concern, operating concern is a mandatory component, is a mandatory component to implement, to implement profitability module in CO, profitability, profitability module in CO, controlling area. So this particular, we won't discuss anything about operating concern in FI module. Okay. This is very important. Okay. COPA costing. Hope you heard about it. COPA, right? Advanced COPA we are going to discuss. So this particular module operating concern, we are going to design in CO module. We will do all the postings and everything in FI module, but the integration we are going to do in CO module. Is this clear? Any questions on this? Any questions? So, Naveen, operating concern basically just report generation. That's what correct, it means. Correct.
Correct. This is again, it is an internal report generation, not for external purpose. Clear? What is the difference between FI and Means? CO? What is the difference between FI and CO? Like So CEO is, I think, uh, mm. finance and controlling. controlling no, like... I'm not asking the abbreviation. Mm. I'm asking what is the difference between finance and CEO controlling? Or FI is external reporting and CEO is original reporting. Yes. Correct. See, whatever reports we generate in FI module, what kind of reports we are going to generate in FI module, right? One is, for example, if I say trial balance, trial balance, right? Your trading account. The trading reports, right? Your PNL accounts, PNL accounts, reports. Next one, balance sheet. So, whatever reports we are going to generate, okay, what is finance? Finance is nothing but whatever reports we are going to generate. All those reports are for internal and external purpose. Internal and external purpose. When it comes to CO module, whatever reports we are going to generate, nothing but your academic costing, okay? That is absolutely for internal purpose and for decision-making purpose. Internal purpose and for decision-making purpose. So whatever reports we are going to generate in CO module, right? Whatever profitability analysis and whatever we are going to do, that is exclusively for internal purpose. We won't exhibit to outsiders. This is clear. So if someone is asking you, what is the difference between FI and CO? Finance and controlling, finance, financial accounting and cost accounting, right? You have done your cost and management accounting, clear? What is the difference? We are not going to say that we will do book, book of uh, books of accounting, uh, accounting life cycle. Okay, we won't, we won't say that. What is the difference between FI and CO? Financial accounting and controlling module or financial accounting, we are cost and management accounting in the sense, whatever reports we are going to generate in finance module, whatever, not only finance, financial accounting, here we call it as a module, but in academic, we call it as a financial accounting, right? In intermediate, whatever you do, you have done in bachelor's degree, first year, you whatever you have done. So that is financial accounting. What is that financial accounting? Whatever reports we are going to generate, okay? That is for external purpose. Why internal and external purpose? Why external purpose? Internal, I accept it. But why external purpose in the sense, whenever you apply, okay, whenever you apply a bank loan, on what basis the bank will approve your loan, accept your loan in the sense, according to your five years or three years profit and loss account statement, five years of your balance sheet. So the company will come to know, sorry, the banker or your creditors will come to know uh, how is your company is performing. Javier, so this is absolutely on external purpose. But when it comes to controlling module or cost and management accounting, whatever reports, right, that is not for external purpose. It is exclusively for internal purpose. Right? We want this. These are nothing but your business secrets. What was the cost you've spent? What is the profit you are expecting? And how you are going to fix your price? So all those stuff for internal decision making purpose. Demand analysis purpose, we will use this particular CO module or cost and management accounting. Is this clear? Any questions? Yes, no. Um, so finance is both internal and external and CO is only exactly. internal, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next one. Controlling area. Controlling area. It is a highest organizational element. It is a highest organizational element in CO module. Highest organizational element in CO module. Based on this, based on this, we can generate, we can generate Cost and management reports, cost and management reports for internal analysis, for internal analysis and decision making purpose. 
internal analysis and decision making purpose. Next one. Write down a note. This is very important. See, this is the thing we are going to change here. Note from ECC 6 version onwards, from ECC earlier, before ECC 6, the controlling area, okay, was in CO module. Okay. Note from ECC 6 version onwards, ECC 6 version onwards, controlling area. Controlling area is a mandatory component for FI module. For FI module to implement to implement new GL profit center accounting. New GL Profit Center Accounting. Okay. So here we are calling it as a new GL Profit Center Accounting. Earlier before ECC 6. Okay. This controlling module, this controlling area was with CO module. But few, some part of controlling area module, some part of controlling version is moved from CO module to FI module. Okay. I'll tell you what, why the reason, okay, that we are calling it as a new GL profit center accounting or new GL accounting. So right there, earlier versions, earlier versions, profit center accounting, earlier version, profit center accounting, used to call it as a classic PCA, classic profit center accounting was in CO module was in CO module. A new version that is in 6 from 6. It is shifted. It is shifted to FI module. And now it is known as it is known as new GL accounting new GL accounting or 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 new GL profit center accounting new GL profit center accounting okay controlling area controlling area can be maintained in two methods Controlling area can be maintained in two methods. First one, controlling area equals to company codes. Company codes, here codes, one is to N methodology. One is to N. Okay, and next one, second one, controlling area equal to company code. One is to one methodology. One is to one methodology. Till here, any questions? I'll explain what is one is to one, one is to one n. Till here, any questions? So, Navin, as you told that uh, the new GL concept has been moved from CO to FI. Sure. So, yeah. Um, so can you please help us? What is the reason for? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll explain this. So till here, okay, I'll explain. See, and one more thing. I'm sorry to say that actually the original Zoom version actual has been deactivated. Yesterday we have taken, but still it's not working. So I have entered into as a guest mode. So it is taking only 40 minutes. It is showing as soon as it will be uh, disconnected at any point of time and try I, again, I'll reconnect it. And please, from your end also, you will try to reconnect it. Probably it will be get resolved by tomorrow. Okay. Hope you understood my point, right? Yes. Because I have taken a guest mode as of now for, for this coming two to three days. So it will have only 40 minutes of time. At any point of time, it will be get disconnected. So again, try to immediately rejoin with the same link. 
okay uh, so i'll explain what is that what is why controlling area moved from co module to fi module is that your question right uh, yes navin yeah so the thing is earlier when it was classic gl version when it was classic gl means no, old version so here we used to generate a report like there is a formula formula okay we can gl debit equals to gl credit what was the old formula in classic gl accounting or classic profit center accounting is, is nothing but gl debit equals to gl credit means for example rent account debited to cash means if i want to generate any report in old version of sap so i can generate a report only gl debit and gl credit single dimension single dimensional report this is means i can generate any report only with gl only on the gl base only we can use to generate a report okay most of the customers are and with only one currency with one currency for example it is in inr then i can generate a report or hardly we can have two currencies one is document currency and local currency okay only but here we can generate only gl debit equals to gl credit that's it but what is, this is not sufficient for the clients whatever reports any other erp is also used to give the same report same kind of report arkil still arkil is giving the same report but but the new gl concept why they have moved new gl concept in the sense so it is generating they it will provide multi dimensional reporting multi dimensional reporting what do you mean by multi dimensional reporting in the sense for example i am posting one entry for example salaries salaries account debited to cash account okay so the entry is i am posting the document currency in euro for example i am posting in euro document currency is in euro and here i am having business area i'll tell you what do you mean by business area and we have a profit center okay 5000 my company is in india business area for example what is adani hyderabad business area profit center adani 1000 okay two cash 5000 so this is salaries account debited i am giving the details only in the debit line euro 5000 my document currency business area hyderabad business area is nothing but your branch and what is the profit center we are going to discuss in depth so 1000 is i have given 1000 as my profit center a stands for adani okay so this is the report this is the entry entry which we have entered entry view we will call it as so two views any transaction any document when we post it will have a two views one is entry view another one is in gl view gl view so how it will show in gl view in the sense okay we will have document currency document currency sorry for a document currency local currency hard currency business area profit center and segment okay this is gl view this is a new view earlier we don't have this particular view in the old version okay what would be the entry my entry same thing salaries account debited to cash okay so what is my document currency here 
it is in euro my document currency is in euro what is my local currency inr 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 and what is my hard currency or group currency usd usd right okay these are my profit center and business area so in the entry view i have entered only in euro currency and i have given debit line i have given profit business area and debit line i have given profit center now you 